you guys. I wasn't sure that whether that was recording or not. This is the uh, uh, the new Panasonic 4K camera. First recording. I was uh, waiting for the um, the clock to start uh, ticking up, but all I've got on the screen is a, a little red record symbol. Uh, that's the old uh, Sanyo Xactile that I've been using for the past a couple of years. HD, but. Uh, yeah, it's not the uh, not the very best uh, camcorder around, so I'm hoping this one will be uh, an awful lot better. Um, lighting's not brilliant in here today. I was just trying it out in the, uh, the lower light conditions that we've got on this really cloudy and rainy uh, day. Um, reason for the video is uh, this unexpected uh, birthday present today. Uh, I am forever putting my car keys down somewhere uh, or the workshop keys just get put down somewhere and I can never find them so uh, Deb thought this would be a, a quite a neat idea and it's a, um, a key finder or you know find whatever you've uh, attached this to really As again by Panasonic it is only suitable for a few of the Panasonic uh, cordless phone models but uh, by a stroke of luck we actually have one of the uh, compatible models. Uh, there is a CR2022 battery just uh, just inside here. This is very light, just plastic, goes on your key ring or you could use it as a new uh, key ring. And uh, this is uh, one of the phones it's compatible with and uh, you have to go into a pairing mode. Now, I did look on our older Panasonic uh, cordless phones that we've got but that doesn't have that facility and this particular phone's about a year old and uh, you go into the pairing mode. At that stage you pop the battery into uh, the fob and the phone will locate it and then you can rename it and do whatever you want. And You can actually register up to four of these uh, fobs. Uh, so I've actually already ordered another one uh, on eBay, I think it was, about £24. And uh, to, to actually use it, you just go into the menu. There is a new symbol now here. You see the circles like a bullseye target on the phone. So you would go down into that. And then you can do a search and it will just so I've got one at the moment that just says Trev's and if you press OK the, uh, this is now bleeping and the phone is now bleeping as well and if you look in the phone's display it's now saying uh, well actually I assume that was a countdown thing but I th think as I move that closer to the phone oh it's even more clever than I realised <laughs> That's actually how close you are to it. I thought that was going to be a 100 second countdown time before this stopped. So if I actually move this three or four foot away onto the chair just over there, you can see the, um, the number go down. So <laughs> that's excellent. <laughs> uh, yeah, and if I bring it up to the phone, you'll see that the, uh, the strength goes up to 100. So in theory, even if you were deaf, you uh, might be able to use this it drops down to, yeah, I'm about about two and a half foot away from the fob. So you'd probably be able to find that just based on that signal strength. That's excellent. I didn't realise it had that. Uh, you can also check the uh, battery uh, strength. That's tested it. Says OK. So, you know, that's that. It's nice and simple. Seems to work very well and uh, yeah really pleased with that it's great for anybody like me who just chucks keys down and then you need them quickly and you just can't find the things so as I say I've ordered another one of those and uh, yeah excellent never even seen you know obviously seen lost key finders that you whistle for and things like that but I had absolutely no idea that uh, Panasonic made one of these so uh, very pleased with that indeed Anyway, uh, yeah, that's the first video on the, uh, the new 4K camera, and uh, we'll see in a minute whether that's uh, any good or not. Catch you later.